In Geneva, Switzerland, an exhibition of mechanical dolls is presented by the time-honored watchmaker's craft. The enchanted world of automatons astonishes and mystifies onlookers today as it did centuries ago when the watchmakers first perfected their uncanny creatures. This magician has been performing since the French Revolution. Intricate clockwork produces lifelike movements and sounds. It's difficult to believe that these birds are man-made. The complex system of gears and cogs makes the birds seem alive. Working on the same principle as watches, the dolls have to be wound. Mechanical dolls originated in ancient Egypt, but it was not till the 18th century that graceful, realistic movement was achieved. The music hall show is about to start, and the big attraction is the hypnotist's levitation act, in which a young lady will be made to float in space. The levitation act was an old standby in European music hall shows, the forerunners of our own vaudeville variety shows. Watch the magician pass a loop around the lady's body while she is suspended in the air horizontally. Seeing is believing. Twenty years before the French Revolution, Parisian society was delighted by this amazing mechanical artist who is sketching a likeness of King Louis XV. He has made drawings like these for the last 178 years. The coordination of these complicated mechanical parts, each one fitting exactly into the other, directs every line that the artist traces. These charming novelties, conceived in a romantic age, have withstood time and use. Though this lovely musician is only a mechanical doll, the song she plays on this genuine pipe organ is the actual series of notes she presses on the keyboard. Our musician sighs as she completes her centuries-old performance. <laughs> 